behalf of Finisher Magazine and today I will take you through a very unique workout. Uh, it is called Sukshma Vyayama and uh, this, is, uh, this workout is actually quite interesting. It can be done by anyone and everyone, um, whatever level of yoga you practice, um, anyone can practice. This is, uh, it's pretty easy to practice. Sukshma meaning subtle and Vyayama meaning body workout. Yeah. So it's a subtle body workout. Most of the yogic practices that you see, uh, the Hatha Yoga that you see seems to be quite physical in nature, uh, extremely intense or you know moderate to see uh, quite a high intensity level. But Sukshma Vyayama is different. Here you are not just focusing on intensity, um, not really focusing on intensity, but you are actually focusing more on the internals of your uh, physical and subtle body. So the uh, objective of this uh, practice would be to uh, release joint stiffness and release the stiffness that comes in in the body, especially because of the fascia or the connective tissue that builds up uh, in our body. So this practice is ideal to be done. Ideally, you should do this in the morning. First thing in the morning, you uh, complete your whatever ablutions and then you can start and do 15 to 20 minutes of this practice. If you have more time, you can extend it a little bit longer. And we do a few sit-ups, joint warm-ups and very interestingly in this practice, we will do a few tappings like acupressure techniques uh, to release uh, the connective tissue that builds up in our along our body, along our organs overnight. The body, when we sleep for seven to eight hours, the body becomes very stiff. That's because the connective tissue that surrounds our organs tends to cling like a plastic wrap. You know, it becomes, it solidifies. So in the morning when you come and you do these gentle uh, tappings and releases, it sort of opens up. So there is more space in your body to move. So the objective of Sukshum Vyayama is to work internally on your internal organs on a connective tissue that surrounds your organs um, so today's workout will be about 15 to 20 minutes so let us start now let us sit in sukhasana and take a deep breath in and out just become completely present while we are here and slowly from here open your eyes take your hands to the side and from here Come into this position. <laughs> Sorry, lost my balance there for a second. Come into this position, take a breath here. And then gently from here, go into the forward fold. You can bend your knees here if you have a sensitive lower back. Hold your elbows. You can keep your feet slightly wider. So hip distance apart if that is more beneficial to you. And relax. Just fold forward. Stay here for five breaths. Move down from your lower back. Feel the stretch at the back of your legs. Just let your breaths extend your spine. With each round of breath, you relax and release your spine. One more breath here. And slowly let your hands hang loose and we'll roll up now. Slowly bend your knees and feel your spine and roll up like a rag doll. Slowly roll up. And gently come up. Now the first practice in Sukshu Vyayama that we'll follow is Tapu Karna. So make a fist with your hands. We we'll start first with the brain. So making a fist with your hands, bring your thumbs in, roll your fingertips over it and just tap lightly the sides of your temples. Gently tap the sides of your temples, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and relax. Five breaths here and you can do a little bit longer and remember when you're doing this, you're stimulating the different centers of the brain. One more breath, bringing all your attention to the brain centers and release. You'll start with the 
Tapukarnam squat now. This is something that is traditionally done in uh, Indian societies and uh, you will see what I mean. So basically you bring your right leg onto the left side and you bring your left hand to the right ear and pull the right ear lobe down nicely with your thumb and index finger. Take your right hand in the front and pull the left ear lobe down. Okay. Now from here as you inhale, you will slowly bend your knees and squat, reaching your elbows down towards the mat. As you exhale, you will slowly come up. So pay attention to the type of breath, the style of breathing. As you inhale, you come down and as you exhale, you come up. It's a slightly different way we breathe in Tapu Karna. And the objective here again is to Stimulate the left and the right brain centers and through that we stimulate the pineal and the pituitary glands in the brain, the endocrine glands. Slowly, keep going. You can do this 18 times if you have the time. We'll do two more. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you come up. Once again, inhale as you go down, exhale as you come up. And release. Bring your legs back to center. Take a breath. Now, join the heels. Place your right palm on your belly and left palm on top of your right palm. Women can do this. Men can switch sides. So, men can place the left palm on the belly and right palm on top. Stay here for a few breaths. As you join your heels, and bring your palms to your abdomen. Just pay attention to your breath. Deep inhalation, long exhalation. And we'll do a wonderful prana gathering technique here. Open your eyes. Now as you inhale, slowly take your hands out. Slowly bring both arms up. Look up. Join the middle three fingers the tips of the middle three fingers together. Exhale and bring it towards your abdomen. Keep going. Inhale and slowly come up. Exhale and slowly bring your hands to your abdomen. And while you're here, actually you can even move your legs apart. So you can bring your feet apart hip distance wide to be more comfortable and continue. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, join the middle three fingers and down. Pay attention to your hands. As you lift up, you look at your hands. Join the three fingers in the center and bring it down. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, come down. So we call it a prana gathering technique, bringing more vital energy into the body, especially in the midsection where we have the solar plexus. Ankle rotations. Now from here, bring the legs closer. Take your right leg slightly back. You can hold your hands by the side or let it hang loose, whatever works for you. I like to hold my elbows. And gently just move your ankles along your toes. So your Doing two things. One is you're crunching your toes as you rotate your ankles along. So slowly focus on a point in front of you to maintain your balance and crunching your toes, you move your ankles. Switch sides, go the other direction. Slowly releasing all the energetic blocks in our joints, toe joints, ankle joints and release. Come back. The other side, take the leg slightly back, focus on a point and start. Again, crunch your toes nicely and feel your ankle joints. You may hear some sounds of cracking, snapping, which is very normal. Especially when you do joint movements, it's very normal to hear sounds. And as long as there is no pain, it's absolutely harmless. It's a good sign. It means that we are releasing the Vata element, the wind element in the body, the excess element of wind in the body. Switch sides, a few on the other side, same leg and then come back. And then take a 
breath here and relax. Now we'll do, we'll start with meridian tapping and it's a very interesting practice. This is where we bring in the element of acupressure in the yogic practices. So again, bringing your feet slightly apart, hip width apart. Take your right palm, make a fist and left palm also make a fist and then start tapping front upwards. Yeah, so it's like this. Tap, tap. So tapping your front and back. Tapping the lower abdomen and the lower back a few times. Keep breathing while you do this. And then you move up. Move up to the midsection. Move to your midsection, the chest area, the mid of your back. And then move to the upper part. So the clavicle area, sternum, the upper back. Keep breathing while you do this. And then move back to the midsection. And what you're doing here is you're actually working along the organs that are the organs along the spine, you are working on releasing the tightness of the tissue that builds up, the fascia that, connective tissue that stiffens up along these areas, you are loosening it with these movements. So you come back slowly, back to the lower abdomen, lower back and you release. Take a breath here, relax. Now we go a little more detailed into meridian tapping. So. We start with the left side, bend your knees here and tuck your tailbone in, bend your knees, tuck your tailbone in and let us start with the left hand, make a fist with your left hand and slowly just tap your, let your right hand be loose, tap the lower abdomen with your left palm and slowly straighten your legs and come up, tap up and come to your chest and slowly from here go to the right side of your chest. Lift your hands up and tap under your armpit, the right armpit. And then come down. Come to the side of the right side of the chest, right side of the ribcage. Tap. And then tap under. Under. So we are tapping here and stimulating the pancreas, spleen and the stomach. Tap right back and come back to your chest. And then slowly from here, we go to the inner right hand. So we tap down the right hand once again and then turn the hand up and then with your open palm tap up and down a couple of times. Breathe as you do this all the way up to your neck and then just brush off. Just brush off. And one more. And relax. Shake off both the hands. Take a breath. We do the same thing on the other side. Once again, bend the legs. Make a fist this time with your right hand. We start with the left side. So first tap the lower abdomen. Then straighten your legs. Come up. Tap the midsection, the solar plexus. Come up. Tap the sternum. Then the left side of the chest. And then bend your elbow. And just tap the area under the left armpit. And so the armpit is actually a very interesting area. There are lymph nodes in the armpits that uh, capture all the toxins here. So it's a wonderful way to release the lymph fluid, release the toxins from the body. And then you tap along the sides of the left rib cage. And then bring it in slightly towards the area that houses the liver and the gallbladder. Tap here. And then tap right back. Come back up left side of the chest and then take your left hand and go down to the, down the inner arm to the palm back up one more time and then turn and with your open palm this time tap the outer left arm and back to your neck tap the sides of your neck and then slowly brush it off and relax shake off both hands and relax. Take a breath here. So you see we are working, we are directing our attention and energies on the internal organs here and especially the connective tissue that surrounds these internal organs and we are loosening them all up. Now we do something further in terms of meridian tapping. We take our hands here and we just tap our waist. Tap the waist here nicely. And then slowly move your hands to your lower back. 
Move your hands to your lower back, tap your lower back and then come up to the area in your, in your kidneys or the area that corresponds to your kidneys at the back side, just under your rib cage and tap. And then back to your lower back and then back to your waist. One more breath and release. Really shake off any tension that you may have. Take a deep breath. Moving on, make fists with your hands and this time we will work on the lower part of the body. So first we work on the uh, groin and the glutes. So make fists and tap your groin nicely. Again, the groin is an area just like the armpits where we have uh, lymph nodes, a collection of lymph nodes here that captures the toxins. So we tap and we allow the toxins to be released through the lymphatic fluid. And then take your hands back here and tap your glutes. Tap your glutes. Bring back to your groin. Tap your groin. And from here, slowly bend your legs and work your way down, tapping the inner thigh. And then come back up and take your hand to the outer thigh. Slowly tapping the outer thigh, the outer leg on both sides and then go back to the inner thigh. Do the inner region a couple more times. It's a more sensitive part of the body. There's a lot of stiffness along this part. Come back and back to the glutes, back to the groin and relax. Shake off completely. Take a deep breath here. Just feel the effects of the gentle movements. Now we go back to joint movements. So bring your legs a little bit closer. And let us start with some neck rotations. Now you can, if you want, you can let your hands hang loose by the side. And very slowly here, drop your head down. And slowly start from the right. Chin to the right shoulder all the way up. Exhale, chin to the left shoulder and down. Keep going. Inhale, chin to the right shoulder and up. Exhale, chin to the left shoulder and up. Keep going. So if you have time, you can do this about 8 to 10 times. But since we have little time here, so we just do 3 on each side. Slowly. So I'm doing 3 on each side. As an option, you can even just do... Like one right side and then one left side. If you feel dizzy, then you can just alternate between one full circle on the right and one full circle on the left. And then come back and relax. Let us move the shoulders, shoulder joints slowly. Work your shoulders up, down and in this direction, front to back. Slowly as you breathe. And then back to front a few times. Feel your shoulder joints, the back and the front and relax. Wrist. This time you take your fingertips, interlock your fingertips and move your hands down. And then slowly move your hands up and then down. So now make with your fists, you will just rotate your wrists together in one direction. So whichever direction you want. First you can go. I'm going from the left to the right and then switch sides. Go the other way around. Focus on your wrist joints if you want. Close your eyes. It's always better to close your eyes and bring your attention to that area where you're moving. And relax. And release. Now we are gathering prana again. This time we will be gathering prana in this section in a different, slightly different manner. Bring your feet slightly apart, hip distance apart. And as you inhale, slowly take your hand out. Turn your palms up. Slowly inhale, bring your hands to your waist, to your solar plexus. And then as you exhale, turn the hands down, palms down and forward. 
Inhale, bring in the energy. Exhale, turn the palms down and move it away from your waist. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Inhale, slowly pulling in the energy, pulling in the prana to your solar plexus. Exhale, slowly moving away. You feel like you're bringing in fresh oxygen and as you move the hands away, you're releasing whatever is old and release. Hip rotations, again same posture, keep your hands hanging loose by the side. Move forward and slowly rotate along the hip joint, very gently. You should feel that movement forward, sideways and back. So be mindful of the pelvis, the hip and the lumbar region and rotate slowly. You're pretty much just moving this part of the body and keeping the other areas just as still as possible. And then slowly switch sides, going in the other direction. And be mindful of that movement. Feel your lower back, the tailbone, your hip joint, the pelvis. One more. And back. Knee joints, bring your legs together, support your legs with your palms on the knees and then rotate in one direction. Focus on a point so that you can balance and then slowly go in the other way. Keep breathing, focus your attention on the knee joint. One more and back. Feet apart. And finally, we end with some work for the facial muscles and the front of our torso. Rub your palms together nicely. Warm your hands with the body heat. And then gently bring it to your eyes. Cup your eyes softly. Take a couple of breaths here. Send this warm energy into your body. And then slowly just massage your jaw. Massage your jaw with your fingers nicely. Working on your facial muscles here. Bringing some energy to this part of the body. And then down your throat. Just massaging your throat region nicely. And then down the front of your, your torso. Brush your hands along your torso nicely. And that's about it. These are all the different Sukshma Vyayama techniques. Simple movements, joint movements, um, tapping, acupressure movements to release and energize the whole body to be done ideally first thing in the morning. 15 to 20 minutes of your time. I hope you enjoyed this practice and feel free to leave your comments. Namaste.